Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 16th, 2022. Well, yesterday turned out to be a bit of a market bummer. Those bears uh, woke up and uh, really started to attack yesterday as the economic numbers came in pretty ugly for the economy. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I hope you had a great evening and you're ready for another wild day of market. Uh, price action because we still have some more data coming our way and those bears are pretty active here this morning if you take a look here at the Dow we've we've had some technical problems starting to to show up in the indexes but our our, our chart that probably um, has the best chance of holding I think is going to be the Dow the Dow um, really stretched itself out uh, probably well really got overextended and um, as you can see pulling back pretty sharply here right now we lost that support range that we have been talking about here in the chart uh, dropped down through this area yesterday giving it up and you can see this morning a um, little bit of pressure as this selling kind of picks up around the world if you'll notice right in here we're dropping down to that support level that I suggested might be the next level um, in the price action of the chart and looks like we're going to gap to there now my goodness you know if we can hold this if we can hold this downtrend area as support what we have done is we've gone from an overbought condition to an oversold condition really fast and that would mean that we are getting close to a place where we could get a bounce assuming we don't get a pile on of bad data here today. So let's take a look. Um, where would we look for our next level of price support? If those bears continue to find inspiration, where would we go? Well, I think there is a little bit of a price level right in here. Um, it's not a sp super strong price level, but there is a price level that extends across the chart there for a ways. So if those bears find inspiration, then maybe we can um, find some support down in this area. And if that fails, I'm afraid it gets pretty ugly because if that fails, we'll probably come all the way down into here. Now, looking at this uh, on a technical basis, if we were to look at um, our moving averages in the chart, um, I think we have that better chance that we hold right in this area right here that first price area that i was talking about because that would probably hold us in there right around right there right around that 200 day and 50 day moving average in the dow that would be a pretty um, substantial pullback and a a decent technical level to uh, find a little bit of price support. So I wouldn't rule out the possibility of that uh, once we start moving toward a 50 day moving average with the speed that we are moving at it right now. Um, 50 day moving average tends to kind of become like a giant electromagnet and just suck prices right into them. So watch carefully for that possibility. Now, if we look at our SPY, boy, we created some technical damage here in our SPY as well. Unfortunately, breaking um, the support levels. You know, I forgot, I didn't do the bullish side of this. If we can find some bullish um, inspiration here in the chart, then what I would look for is um, a reclaiming maybe of some support levels up in here um, after this gap down this morning and if we can uh, fire off even more bullishness then maybe a retest up into this level however I would not suggest that that would be a buy opportunity as a matter of fact I think any rally back to this resistance I would be looking for the opportunity of a lower high and a possible 
short opportunity if those bulls find that inspiration. Um, let's jump back here to this, um, our SPY again. SPY, looking at that, if those um, bears continue to push here this morning, you can see we've, we're gapping down here pretty substantially here. There is some price support in this area. So if those bulls can stay inspired and, and maybe defend, we might defend this area here in the chart. If that doesn't hold, unfortunately, it's a pretty ugly drop to the next level of reasonable support here in the chart. That would be pretty darn painful and would really overextend this uh, downside move. Um, it would have to be an emotional move, I think, to extend us down that far all at once. Certainly possible because we've had a very emotional market. But I'm going to kind of look right in here and say we're going to find a little bit of price support right in this area. And one of the reasons I think that might be the case is we have already um, this morning will be gapping down through that 50 day moving average and um, that chance that those bulls will step up and defend a little bit, um, pushing, pushing up into um, that 50 day moving average and maybe holding that area as a um, little bit of support. Now, keep in mind, any rally back, we're going to be looking at this resistance level up here in the chart. And again, I think we do have to watch if those bulls do step up and do something here, then we're going to have to watch this area up in here pretty carefully. Um, that possibility that we could fail um, in this area seems relatively high at this moment. The only way I would be able to trust that we're going to, the bulls are going to take back over is we need to reclaim a support area in the chart, uh, then make sure and prove that we can hold it. And then there might be that opportunity for the upside um, here in um, the SPY. Let's take a look at our QQQ. I've been mentioning how critical this level in the NASDAQ is. And unfortunately, we failed it and, and failed it pretty hard uh, yesterday. So we are dropping through this very significant level of price support in the NASDAQ, um, extending on down this morning. Now, if you'll notice, we have a little bit of price support right down in here, um, but it's not, it's not a super strong price support unfortunately however gapping down in this area we could easily test this today and then catch a little bit of relief rally um, back to the upside so if those bears continue to find inspiration here and and we um, push on through this well i think the only place left we have to go is down toward the lows of the year so unfortunately if if that cracks there's not a whole lot um, to hold us up here in the NASDAQ. However, if we can get that defense right in here um, and the bulls find something to be inspired by, maybe just the oversold condition um, in the market inspired by and we can hold in this area, then look for those rally back um, areas that we could come back up and test the bottom of yesterday's candle, maybe push a little bit higher, test this resistance level again in the chart. Now, once again, if we can get that much work done, the only way I can turn bullish on um, the NASDAQ is we'll need to push back up, hold a higher low, and then resume possibly an uptrend. Until that occurs, I will be watching for any rally back for a potential short um, here in the market. So be kind of careful here on these charts. A lot of technical damage has been created. If we take a look at our moving averages here, obviously yesterday we lost the 50 day moving average here in the NASDAQ. I, I had mentioned that's a pretty critical um, area for us and we're gapping down through that a little bit this morning. So not the best of situations here for the market. But again, that oversold condition could inspire a little bit of defense, assuming that the data doesn't continue to come out ugly. If we take a look at our um, IWM, well, the follow through here in IWM has confirmed the downtrend. Um, we had a double top high here. We broke support. We made a new low, rallied back, made a lower high, 
and now we have officially made a lower low. So we are officially back into a downtrend here on the NASDAQ, but I will say that this is a bit overextended move in the short term. So looking at this chart, if those bears can find additional um, inspiration here today, you, you'll notice that we're already losing this support here this morning um, in the chart. And that was the kind of the extension that I talked about yesterday. If we extend on down, watch this level of support to find a little bit of, of um, help. If with that giving up this morning, if the bears continue to press, um, I think we're down here. That's That's our next level, somewhere in this area here in the chart. If those bulls can defend this area here this morning, can defend, make that just really um, stiffen up here just a little bit or find some good inspiration, um, a retest right in here, notice that resistance level right across through there would be a reasonable pushback to the upside. And if they can push on further than that, then a retest right up there is where I'd be looking for. Now, again, any rally back, and particularly in IWM, I would be really focused on the possibility that we just catch this downtrend and move on lower uh, in the Russell. You have to keep in mind that the SPY, QQQ, and IWM all failed at long-term downtrends. So technically, we're in a pretty ugly situation here in the market. Um, if we're going to recover this, we need to recover a support. We need to hold that higher low before I could be very confident that we're going to move back higher. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX. Um, got a little bit of fear showing up in that chart and as I mentioned yesterday there was that hint in here of that inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up in uh, the VIX. Now we're holding some price support in here we're holding this downtrend here with the VIX and this panic this morning um, gap down this morning could truly trigger a little bit of VIX spike here in the chart. So watch carefully if we were to start to push on up and break some of these resistance levels um, across here in the chart. That could be problematic for us and that fear could really start to come into the market. You know, there was actually a story on CNBC this morning, um, Santa Claus rally is over. Um, I don't know that that's true, but certainly with that sentiment starting to creep up and people losing hope in um, that Santa magic here, um, that can really bring out those bears. So watch carefully. If we take a look at our T2122, this might be our best hope with this gap down this morning. As a matter of fact, I was mentioning this in Right Way Options um, yesterday. If we were to gap lower this morning, that might be our best opportunity to catch a relief rally because what that's going to do is it's going to push our T2122 way deep in this bearish rever or bullish reversal zone here in um, this chart. So we'll want to watch for that possibility that the bulls will defend and that opportunity for that rally back. We This gap down this morning is going to put us pretty low here in this chart. So not much opportunity to move a whole lot lower unless we just get a pylon of negative data here that really um, breaks the floor out from underneath the, um, this market. My guess is we'll probably catch some support in here and see a little bit of a relief rally and maybe start pushing this back up. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we zoom all the way back up. In fact, I think we should get a little bit more comfortable that the bears are going to be um, back in control here for a little while based on um, three of those index charts anyway. So watch that carefully. The Dow would be our best opportunity to catch that support off that 50 day moving average and maybe push us back up. But we've opened up good opportunity here for that upside move. Now, now that I mentioned um, right way options here for a second, I want to uh, let everyone know, you know, next week we're going to be, you know, heading into the holiday. And what I've decided to do, because it's probably going to be a pretty slow trade week next week, I'm just guessing that, um, I'm going to open up right way options to the public. So 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in Right Way Options. I will be doing during the normal Right Way Options class period. I'm going to be doing it, and that's 11 p.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. Eastern every day. I'll be doing a specific class for uh, folks that want to come and attend the Right Way Options service for those few days. So um, if you have an interest, make sure you go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website Monday, go to the Right Way Options page, it will be open. I'll be placing some links um, around in the video um, on Monday so I can get you easy access to the room and um, I hope to see you there. Um, I think the first class we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna dive deep into some price action work and um, talk about some strategies that um, I think can be helpful for a lot of traders. So um, put that on your schedule Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week. Uh, some free training um, out of Right Way Options. Let's take a look at our T21. 08 t2108 as you can see we really started to feel a little bit of pressure here um, in the chart i've been really giving this up to the bulls here they they've been holding pretty darn well but that started to slip here yesterday as you can see we broke down through these tops in t2108 a little bit more pressure in here the bears have gained a little bit of an advantage but it's not horrible yet um, i think we're at that point where we should catch some kind of relief bounce um, here in the very very near future I'm, I'm not suggesting necessarily today but in the very near future catch some kind of relief bounce back to the upside um, unfortunately the number of stocks holding above their 50-day moving average slipped back below that 50 percent area so we're starting to tip a little bit uh, more to that bearish side here um, overall and our t2107 well, our T2107 did a good job. It didn't break down as hard as I would have expected. Um, and you can see that we have held this price support in here. So this is still on the bullish side and gives us that hope that maybe those stocks holding above the 200 day moving average are being a little bit more tenacious in their defense of those levels. So watch that carefully. This is still gives you that hope of that little bit of relief rally and maybe that little glimmer of, of Santa magic still um, in play here uh, for the end of the year. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, T2101 still has been, the volatility in the market is making this very erratic, um, schizophrenic almost is what I would say because the emotional moves this market has experienced. So I'm not sure we're getting all that great of data here, but this may be showing, uh, I think it is showing that the bears are picking up on some momentum here um, in the market. So we'll want to watch that close. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today, our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it, but we certainly have a market moving report here that we'll want to be paying attention to. First off, we're going to get um, before um, right after the market opens, we're going to get the PMI composite flash. Now, remember, PMI is that number that really is a kind of like takes the temperature of the health of the economy. And anything below 50 shows that our economy is in contraction. And um, the consensus is suggesting we stay well below 50. Um, on that. Now, if it comes in better than expected, maybe pops up above 50, I would see that as a bullish um, opportunity and maybe we get a little bit of relief here. If it comes in worse than expected, then I would expect those bears to push pretty hard, at least for the first part of the morning. Um, so watch carefully for that. And then we're going to get back on the horse here. Um, now that we're past the FOMC, we're going to start um, going to hear from lots of Fed speakers uh, coming up. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Baker Hughes rigged count. I doubt that makes any difference at all this afternoon. So um, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to watch this market pretty closely um there is some fear starting to build in here now and 
relief rallies should be looked at that as relief rallies. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, by the way, um, I didn't have an appointment today. I guess it's just being lazy today, but it's a no blog Friday. So we're going to go over those earnings reports um, here today. Um, there's only three um, um, stocks that are even um, confirmed to be reporting today. Um, Darden. Darden will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Um, this has been holding in a very, very bullish pattern, holding above support, um, albeit you know some resistance above here in the chart so this could be an important report today for Darden watch that close um, ACN ACN will be reporting today it looks like we might have already reported got a little bit of bearish activity here in the pre-market breaking that uh, level of support here so keep a close eye on ACN and, and then of course WGO uh, Winnebago reporting <sighs> you know, unlikely to be a market mover. Um, uh, but you can see we've been struggling here in a little bit of a downtrend um, at the moment, uh, but we are holding these higher lows. So we're wedging um, this chart here to um, see whether we're gonna pop through or break down. Um, so that could be an important report to make a decision on that direction. Yesterday, the really the after, after the bell, the only um, particularly notable um, was Adobe and Adobe had a good report last night and so that might be helping whoops that might help um, uh, the QQQ ever so slightly here today um, trying to push up into this resistance and still trying to get up there and fill that gap here in um, Adobe so watch that one close let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube and then also click the bell icon um, when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much who, for everyone who does take the time to do that I do truly truly appreciate it um, also just a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that is also just below the title of the video today so let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations as a matter of fact you know it is a pretty tough um, uh, road out there right now in the market we're a little bit overextended on the short side you don't want to be chasing to the short side at the moment and there's not a whole lot out there to be a really bullish on um, in the market so um, kind of a tough situation here to uh, recommend too much of anything however I will kind of continue on this road that some of these defensive sector stocks are worth taking a look at now all three here is getting a pretty big pop and drop here this morning but as long whoops that changed the tool on me as long as this thing um, holds some support um, along this area here in the chart then I think there's an opportunity that this could still bounce up so watch that carefully notice we've been moving up here in a trend we probably need a little bit more backing and filling here to come out and finish that trend but I'm starting to see a lot of those dividend paying stocks holding up quite well and doing pretty darn good and speaking of you know dividend paying stocks take a look at like southern utilities this thing has pulled back here nicely it's been moving up in an upside trend little rasting pattern in here um, I think there may be that opportunity that, that utilities again good strong dividend payers um, doing some holding here in um, in these charts now a lot of these pulled back um, yesterday you know we saw pullbacks here in coca-cola and pepsico and hershey and 
um, even CPB um, had a little bit of rest here in the chart. But some of these defensives are holding up better than other areas of the market. So I do think that would be worth uh, keeping a pretty close eye on in these charts. Let's take a look at some of the big techs. Um, Apple. Apple, uh, that's a pretty ugly pullback from here. Another failure here along the downtrend in the chart. So when we're looking at Apple, um, we're testing the support in here. If that bounces off of that support, what I'd be watching for in Apple is any return back to resistance as an opportunity to short. Unfortunately, I think we've got a little bit of a tough road ahead of us going into next year. So watch for those potential short places here in the market. AMD, kind of disappointed yesterday, breaking down through these support levels. It couldn't hold, as you can see, created a lower high after a lower low. And now we are officially downtrending. So once again, any rally back, I would be looking for those um, opportunity shorts in the market until um, a higher low, um, a, a support can be recovered and hold in a chart like that. I have to be on the short side of those markets. Let's take a look at our financials. I think our financials um, are showing us a major problem here in um in our market so um breaking down lower high lower lower low lower high breaking down through support so once again same story any rally back up here that stays underneath that resistance and downtrend i think is an opportunity um, short um, in those financials so you'll want to watch that pretty closely um, out there i'm going to have to say the same thing for energies if we take a look at um, xle it's um, we've already seen that pattern kind of de develop here in xle um, um, on those energy stocks. So you can see we ran into this price resistance in the chart um, that created some selling. We're pushing back down. If we lose this support in here, that confirms that the trend is still down in that chart. There is some nice price support right in here. I'll give them that. But if you watch that carefully, um, I think any rally back up into here, um, I think I would be looking at a lot of those potential short trades in oil um, sector stocks because what I think we're starting to see is uh, an acknowledgement from the market that demand is being destroyed here, that the consumer is in a pretty rough place and um, could see some more downside here in some of these areas. On, on the bullish side, something that I gotta tell you is really, really surprising to me. Um, take a look at um, home builders. Now, why home builders in a market where housing, price, housing is struggling so much and prices are falling, why builders are, are are getting this much bullishness? It's a little bit of surprise to me, but there there they are. Big bullish move here on Lennar yesterday. Um, rest or pull back in there could set up an opportunity to the upside. If you take a look at Pulte Homes, we've got the same thing. Toll Brothers, the same thing. Lots of bullishness here in the home sector. Maybe it's because, you know, we had those rates falling for a little while. I don't quite get this, but um, there they are. And if you're um, interested in some bullish charts, that might be some opportunity. So, guys, I ran this video long again. Um, saves me quite a bit of time not writing the blog. So um, I apologize it went a little bit long, but I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. You know what? When the market sells off like this, everybody gets a little bit bummed out. But remember, as long as you don't fight it to the downside, let it happen. There's going to be some great prices when this is over. So let that, let that occur. Try not to fight the market. Move with the direction of the market. Look, for the, look at the charts for what they are, not for what you want them to be, and stay on the right side of the trend. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks so much for being here today, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. See you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. And remember, RWO, Right Way Options, the room will be open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Hope to see you there.